Junior League of Las Vegas getting ready for its fashion forward project finale. It's called Once Upon a Runway and it's a big fashion show featuring high school students. I'm honored to be asked to host it. I'm excited. It's April 1st. It's at the Palazzo Theater and joining me in studio is Marissa Ryan and Abigail Milan, fashion forward co-chairs. Welcome ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I'm excited to have you here and talk a little bit about obviously the fashion show but I also want to ask about Junior League. Tell me how you guys even get involved in this. Sure. Well, Junior League is a great organization. Um, it's actually an international organization, and each different city has different chapters. Mm -hmm. So our chapter here in Las Vegas, Junior League of Las Vegas, has about um, 200, probably a little bit over 200 active members, um, women really serving the community um, through volunteerism and leader trained leadership. So um, we have a wide range of project projects. Um, this is the 71st year here in Las Vegas, and so we're just proud to host a number of events supporting a lot of different um, local charity organizations and we are in charge of uh, Fashion Forward which is really an outreach to Clark County High School students in the fashion program. Yeah this is really cool uh, so you and I, you guys uh, I joined you today at Centennial uh, High School and we went into a fashion class so I could yes. learn a little bit more and took some pictures of the kids it's amazing I mean they're using sewing machines and pins and needles and threads I mean and they're they're starting these these outfits from scratch right? Correct so the students are given a theme this year, Once Upon a Runway, they were given different novels and fairy tales, and then that's literally their jumping off point. Mm -hmm. And they design it, they are donated fabric from Star Costume, they're given a gift card by the Junior League that they then use to procure all the different threads, needles, you know, jewels mm -hmm. that they want to adorn it with, and they envision it, create it, make the pattern, sew it, do everything from start to finish. So when they're on the runway, the garment they're wearing they 100% have done everything themselves. Wow. So. Yeah, it's great. You guys have narrowed it down to, you said, like 68, right? Yes. Students. So that's still a lot. And yes. so the fashion show is going to be moving along. We're going to get to see a lot, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> so we started with... Uh, 420 students, wow. and we've narrowed it down to the top 68. Great. So it will be a great runway show. So it's April 1st, it's at the Palazzo yes. Theater, and uh, folks can buy uh, tickets and sit in the audience, and there's even like a little reception before and everything, right? Yeah, so we have a VIP event, um, which will be hosted before the event, so you can buy tickets for that mm -hmm. at either our website or at eventbrite.com. Um, and we also have general admission tickets left. Uh, it's a beautiful theater. Every seat is a great seat in the house. And um, we have lots of really great community partners helping support uh, put on this runway runway event. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a great uh, highlight for the students, but it's also a, a, just a great event for Junior League also. Yeah. And I noticed today when I was in the classroom that the students seem just really into it and very excited yes. to be doing, you know, hands-on things a lot of students really love. You know, the test takers, Sometimes it's tough for them, but the hands-on stuff, people really enjoy, and when they do, they excel. Yeah. Yes. Well, and that's part of the reason the Junior League really embraced this project is um, football players, people in the mm -hmm. choir, people who do theater, they have wonderful opportunities to be able to show off their skills. People like the fashion clubs, the fashion classes, there's, there's nothing for them. Mm -hmm. So this is a really wonderful way to put the spotlight on a group of students that otherwise wouldn't have that opportunity. So Definitely. they're really excited about it. All right, we'll see you April 1st. It's at the Palazzo Theater. Thank you, ladies, for yeah, coming. Thank you, thank you, you for having us. You host. Yeah, I'm excited to host, too, and I'll be updating people on social media as well um, as far as where to get more tickets and things like that. Stay with us.